So I'm currently working on this new Catalyst Center course for Wi-Fi training, and uh, I noticed in doing this latest upgrade that uh, that there was some new features that are pretty cool. So uh, typically, whenever we use Catalyst Center to deploy things like Secure Access or 802.1x or TrustSec, uh, we use config templates that I've written over many years and either use Catalyst Center or Python to push those out uh, to the network, depending on what uh, you know environment the client has. More and more clients are uh, using Catalyst Center for config management. So we typically use uh, Catalyst Center for that. And historically, we use templates, but uh, I have noticed that they came out with this new layer two configuration options within Catalyst Center. So a lot of people didn't realize, but on our 9K switches, we've got a pretty capable uh, web interface, okay? Now I'm not a big fan of using a web interface for switches per se, uh, historically, right? But uh, I think there is some usefulness for what we're about to see because this doesn't require that you have the web server enabled on your switches if I'm doing it through Catalyst Center, right? Because Catalyst Center is a web interface natively. And if I'm doing everything through Catalyst Center, then I'm not really looking at uh, everything. Uh, I'm not really looking at everything through the local web interface on the switch. I'm doing it through Catalyst Center, which is quite a bit different. So within my switch here, though, I can see, of course, what's connected. I and where I'm at in this course, guys, is very early on. Uh, I haven't really gone into uh, uh, provisioning devices with Catalyst Center yet and the automation that that entails. But I wanted to do this quick video because I saw this new Layer 2 configurations beta here. And uh, what this is, I've always been able to see uh, ports for a very long time and see if they're using PoE and see if they're active, right? Connected, error disabled, admin disabled, not connected, PoE enabled. So I can see these are PoE ports and see some details there. But what is new and, and pretty exciting, at least it was for me, is I now have the ability to create VLANs within Catalyst Center and do it through a GUI versus a config template and push it to the switch. Uh, the other thing is I have the ability to turn on layer two configuration protocols from uh, the GUI again. Uh, and then, but if you go down further and like, you know, VLANs and uh, spanning tree and all that kind of stuff, that's you know, it's one of those things like, hey, I've seen it before, yada, yada, yada. But then I came down and I see authentication and dot one X. So a lot of people struggle with configurations for, for authentication and dot one X. And so if I could use this tool as a basis for that configuration and then replicate, that might be pretty cool. Again, it's just something new that came out with Catalyst Center and I figured I would show it. But if we look at this and we go to edit, uh, I don't want to do too much to to, to derail where I was in, in my course. But as you can see, you could turn on .1x, choose the IBNS level there uh, for your .1x mode. I'm sure you have to save it and then go back, All right, So I'm not gonna do that yet. But it's pretty cool that you can do that. And then under my port configuration over here, uh, you can also configure load balancing and everything. But under con uh, my port configuration, well, now I've got the ability to choose which ports I want to configure with my new uh, interfaces. So maybe this guy here, as you can see, it's got a description, it's got a VLAN. Uh, if I edit that, I have the ability to put in access, voice VLAN, the admin status, VLAN trunking, yada, yada, yada. But then here's dot one X all of a sudden, right? And here's MAD. So I could add configurations for that and several other things. There's trust set, okay? So I have a lot more uh, options to configure things than I did before, uh, including authentication and dot one X, which is really cool. So I think this is a pretty cool feature. I don't think a lot of people know that this exists yet, which is why I wanted to do a quick video and have fun kind of getting here first, right? So uh, let's go back again. We go to provision inventory. We'll look at our inventory of devices. And this device again has not been provisioned. It's just been discovered with Catalyst Center. And just that gives me a lot of capabilities to do things with the device, right? So as long as I've got read write credentials uh, for CLI and SNMP, there, I basically have God mode access over that device. So once the device is discovered with Catalyst Center, we get what's called device controllability, which basically means Catalyst Center can manage and as God on the device, which means you as an administrator of Catalyst Center have the ability to manage and configure that device. So pretty cool stuff. 
The other thing that I noticed uh, now is they've got this browse configuration options that allows me to look at the actual uh, config output here, which is very nice, allows me to search it. And I've been able to see that before under this config drift option, but it's just nice to be able to go back to that. Um, and the config drift option is anytime there were changes on the device. So I can go back and look at what was there, who did it, and, and why it changed, and then what was deployed, and easily roll back if I need to, to those previous configurations. So again, kind of making sure we've got that change control management structure going on that uh, Catalyst Center helps organizations to standardize on. I can't tell you how many organizations, guys, that uh, if they didn't have uh, Catalyst Center going into it, they, you know, how many organizations didn't have standards for like, hey, this is what our campus design should look like for, for networking. Uh, this is what our naming policies are. This is what, you know, just a lot of simple standardization stuff that if you're an architect, it's like, it's no brainer. It's it, That's the way you do things. But for organizations that have just kind of went through upgrades year over year without a good design to start with, um, you know, they there's a lot of chaos going on and there's a lot of instability and misconfigurations and things that are not streamlined where once we go to Catalyst Center, it helps us to streamline our configurations, to have a good network hierarchy, to have consistent configurations on our devices and a single pane of glass to go manage and support those devices. So uh, there's a lot of value there uh, for uh, Catalyst Center. And hopefully you guys see now that we can do the layer two configs through the GUI, which is, is pretty nice. Um, but, but it, you know, in other videos in this course, I'm gonna show you this, you know, I still don't wanna have to configure each of my switches one by one, but it's nice knowing that I can without having to jump to the device via CLI and make a change. It's nice knowing that I can just do it right here through Catalyst Center, right? That's really where the power of this comes in is just quick changes for a device if I needed to, because any large configurations that are going to apply to all my switches, I'm going to use templates for that and standardize change control through templates. And that's some of what I'm showing here in this Catalyst Center Lessons course at Wi-Fi Training, and it'll be ready at the end of the month. But hopefully you enjoyed this video to see what's new here with our layer two configurations to the Catalyst Center team at Cisco, the developer team. Keep it up, keep the innovation coming. 